Man City's upcoming fixtures will be vital in the hunt for the Premier League, Champions League and Carabao Cup. Man City took what was supposed to be their most challenging week in the season as they faced Arsenal, Everton and Chelsea in seven days and turned it into a leisurely stroll in the park which has resulted in the Blues going top of the table. City notched up 11 goals in those three games and conceded just the once accumulating in perhaps their finest performance under Pep Guardiola with a 6-0 humiliation of Chelsea. City may now sit at the summit of the Premier League but they only sit there on goal difference having played a game more than Liverpool, so they won't be able to rest on their laurels and allow any more complacency to creep in. With the next round of the FA Cup, the return of the Champions League and the Carabao Cup final all on the horizon. The next six fixtures are going to be pivotal in City's hunt for silverware. Man City will travel to South Wales in the FA Cup fifth round after Newport County defeated Middlesbrough in a fourth round replay. The League Two side earned a replay after scoring a last minute equaliser at the Riverside and beat Borough 2 0 at Rodney Parade thanks to goals from Robbie Wilmot and Padre Gammond. It's not Newport's first giant killing of the FA Cup this season either after they knocked out Leicester City in the third round. The Champions League makes its long-awaited return towards the end of February and City will no doubt be pushing to go far in the competition. Blues will face German side Schalke in the first knockout round and they shouldn't prove too difficult for City. Schalke have struggled this season, after a brilliant campaign last year that saw them finish second in the Bundesliga, under young manager Domenico Tedesco. They currently sit in 14th place, 7 points away from the relegation play-off spot. The Royal Blues have had better fortune in the Champions League, though. They easily qualified from a group containing FC Porto, Galatasaray and Lokomotiv Moscow, picking up three victories and only losing once. Schalke was a good draw for City and we could see City try and have their round one in the first leg just like they did against Burton. After demolishing Chelsea 6-0 in the Premier League the Londoners will have to relive the nightmare at Wembley in under two weeks' time surely Maurizio Sarri's men can't be so embarrassingly poor again, but if the Italian manager doesn't compromise on his style of football then a similar style of mauling could be on the cards as City look to reclaim their trophy. Win or lose in the final City won't have too much time to dwell on it as they'll be right back in action at the Etihad the following Wednesday against West Ham United. Manuel Pellegrini's side have been in a weird run of form of late as they pick up disappointing results against sides they should be beating, like Wimbledon, and then beat Arsenal and draw with Liverpool. If they perform with the same intensity and gusto than they did against the Reds, Declan Rice especially, then City could be in for a tricky afternoon. Following the clash with West Ham. City may have a slightly easier game on the weekend as they travel to the south coast to face Bournemouth. While the Cherries have had a good season and played some great stuff at points, they are a team that doesn't change their attacking style of football no matter who they are up against. Sometimes it pays off, like when they battered Chelsea themselves, but often against the bigger sides it does leave them open and easy to score multiple goals against. The Hornets are tougher more robust opposition who have caused City problems in the past. In the reverse fixture City seemed in control with a 2-0 advantage but when Abelay de Quaer scored late on Watford pushed for an equaliser and looked like they were going to get it before the final whistle brought relief for City. They're a rough and tumble sign who will look to get up into City and put them off their game, and Blues will have to make sure it doesn't affect them.